Chad Doberman began planning months ahead for his upcoming adventure. He had to consider what kind of supplies he would need, his destination, and any possible risks he may encounter. Chad had it all figured out, he was going to take a trip around the world. He decided where he wanted to go, which places he wanted to explore and just how long he wanted the trip to last. He began by researching the areas he wanted to visit and learning about the culture and customs of the people there. That way he could be sure to respect their customs when he visited. Next, Chad started searching for the best deals on flights and accommodations. He wanted to make sure he could stay within his budget and still experience the most he could. Once he found what he was looking for, he figured out the supplies he would need. He knew he would be on the road a lot, so he packed light, mostly essentials and a few clothing items. He also packed a couple of band-aids, just in case of any accidents. On top of that, he brought along a map of the area he was traveling, just to be safe. In the weeks leading up to his trip, Chad made sure to get all of his vaccines and medical records updated. He wanted to make sure he had all the necessary paperwork in case of any medical emergencies. At the same time, he was also applying for visas for the different countries he was going to visit. This was a crucial step in ensuring that he would be able to enter the countries he wanted to visit. With everything all set and planned out, Chad was ready to go. He was excited to begin his adventure and see all that the world had to offer. Chad's first stop was London, where he started by visiting the many sites. He was amazed by the architecture and history of the city, and could not wait to explore its culture and people. After London, Chad headed to Paris and Berlin. He was amazed by the beauty and culture of both cities and enjoyed exploring their many sites and museums. From there, Chad traveled to Africa and the Middle East. He was fascinated by the beautiful scenery and the unique customs of the people he met. After Africa, Chad headed to Asia. He was taken aback by the beauty of the countries he visited, such as Thailand, China, and India. During his travels throughout Asia, Chad explored a variety of cultures and ways of life. He was also able to sample different types of cuisine and explore religious sites. Next, Chad headed to South America. He was fascinated by the vast landscape and the different terrains he encountered. He also made sure to explore different areas of Brazil, Peru, and Argentina. He wanted to see as much of each country as he could before returning home. On his final leg of the trip, Chad headed to the US. He visited a variety of cities, including New York City, Los Angeles, and Seattle. In each city, Chad was able to explore the history, culture, and attractions that each had to offer. He also made sure to try some of the famous local dishes. After his time in the US, Chad headed back home. He was exhausted but thrilled with the journey he had taken. Back home, Chad reflected on all the places he had visited and cultures he had experienced. He was grateful for the opportunity he had and proud of himself for completing his journey. Thanks to his planning, Chad was able to take the trip of a lifetime. He also gained a better understanding of the world and its different cultures. Chad also developed an appreciation for the environment and the beauty of the world. 
he saw firsthand the importance of conserving nature and protecting the earth. After his experience, Chad was ready to continue exploring the world. He was sure that each destination and culture he encountered would take him even deeper into his exploration. Chad was confident in his abilities as a traveler and knew that he had the necessary skills and knowledge to help him make the most of any destination. His trip also taught him how to be more mindful of his decisions and actions when traveling, as each destination was unique and deserving of his respect. <laughs>